Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy from Cyclo Bros. In today's video, Alec and Quinn are going to join me as we walk through our top 10 list of the most peaceful cichlid species. If we miss any peaceful cichlids on this list, make sure to leave that down in the comment section below. And also, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And guys, let's dive right in. So before we get into the list, I did want to say these are some of the more peaceful fish when compared to other cichlids, but we did have to put peaceful in quotations as cichlids can always be aggressive, especially when they're in breeding mode in a tank size that's too small, or if their male and female ratio is off, that can also lead to aggression issues. So instead of peaceful, you could consider this list the top 10 least aggressive cichlids as they all can be aggressive. So with that being said, I'm gonna pass it over to Alec for number 10 on the list. Coming in at number 10 on our list is the rusty cichlid, an Abuna species from Lake Malawi. The rusty cichlid is one of the few African cichlids we considered for this list, and is one of the more docile in comparison to the typical Abuna, peacocks, and haps. The rusty cichlid also has a pretty good coloration and color pattern with the orange and blue colors. The rusty cichlid will do well in almost any Mbuna setup, especially with more peaceful ones like the next fish on our list. The next fish on our list is the only other Lake Malawi cichlid we have on our list. It's definitely not one of these guys. It's the yellow lab. The yellow lab is just like it sounds. It's a bright yellow color with a black trim on its fin. It is an Mbuna and does well in almost any Mbuna setup whether it's with really peaceful Mbuna, like the Yellowtail ECI or the Rusty Cichlid, as previously mentioned. But the Yellow Lab also does well contrasting with other more aggressive Mbuna, like the Demasoni, as you try to disperse aggression. The Yellow Lab, like most Mbuna and any other Lake Malawi Cichlid for that matter, really enjoy higher pH, harder water, high water flow. Mbuna like lots of rock work, they definitely need a lot of filtration, and I do recommend a tank size of 55 gallons or larger for these guys and other Mbuna. If you follow these steps with the Yellow Lab, they'll do great in your tank. Coming in at number eight on this list is the Severum. So normally when we talk about Severums on this channel, it's with my brother Troy, but now I also have a Severum in my classroom. This is a mouth brooding Severum, and he's doing really well with a fire mouth and a few silver dollars. Troy has three other different types of Severums that have all been very peaceful cichlids in his 180 gallon tank. Severums get large, but stay on the peaceful end most of the time, although there are always exceptions. Green Severums seem to be a bit more aggressive, at least in our experience, but overall, they're usually gentle giants. I wouldn't keep anything too small with them though, Nothing like small tetras, but many other cichlids and mid-sized tetras and barbs will do great with the Severum. Now, passing it back to Troy for number seven. Coming in at number seven on the list is the Satanaparica Jurupari. I currently have one Jurupari in my 180 gallon aquarium and I've had him for a little over two years now. The Jurupari is one of the most peaceful cichlids I've ever kept and I've never even seen him chase away other fish. He's been in a tank with other South American cichlids and has done really well. Out of all the geophagus and earth eaters I have kept, the Jurupari has been the least aggressive by far. These guys will usually be labeled as a geophagus, but they're actually Satanoperica, although they do have the same sand sifting behaviors, which make them awesome to watch. They have very cool spiked dorsal fins and a silver coloration and look great in a cichlid community tank. The Jurupari has the nickname of the Demon Earth Eater, but that's pretty misleading because they are one of the most peaceful cichlids you'll find. Coming in at number six on the list, and this is actually another African cichlid, although these are not from Lake Malawi, they're from Lake Tanganyika, and that is the Shell Dweller, but specifically with the Neo Lamprologus multifasciatus. I currently have a group of these in my 33 gallon in the other room, and these guys are awesome to watch. These shell dwellers are called multis for short, and they're definitely one of the more peaceful varieties of the shell dweller. Some shell dwellers can get a bit more feisty towards each other or tank mates, but the multi is a very peaceful cichlid and make for an awesome colony in a tank like this. They breed like crazy and are great parents, 
with the community rarely going after the fry in the tank. If you start with just a few, you'll likely have a tank full of these guys in no time. Their shell dwelling behavior makes for a very cool and unique tank, and it's very interesting seeing these fish interact with each other. I definitely would not keep them with the Lake Malawi cichlids like Mbuna, Peacocks, or Haps, but there are a good amount of Lake Tanganyikan cichlids that would work with them in a big enough tank. I highly recommend the shell dwellers. Before we continue, if you're enjoying the video, please consider hitting that like button if you're enjoying the list so far. And guys, let's move into number five. Coming in at number five on the list is one of my favorite all-time cichlids, and that is the Epistogramma. These fish are great because they stay pretty small, and so they can fit in a smaller size tank than most cichlids. I currently have an Epistogramma in my desktop aquarium here. Because they stay relatively small, they can be in a tank with a lot of other smaller fish like Neon Tetras, Autosynclus Catfish, Corydoras, and many other Tetras and Barbs. They can definitely get aggressive when breeding or when you have two males in a tank, but normally they won't go after other fish in the tank. They like to have a little rock cave or hideouts and will be very comfortable in a tank with a small territory for themselves and they'll definitely leave other fish alone. There's many different types and color variations to choose from, making them a great option for a centerpiece in a smaller tank. They are typically a very peaceful fish that I've really enjoyed keeping. Now I'm going to kick it over to Quinn for number four on the list. The German Blue Ram is one of the most peaceful cichlids that you will find. However, they have been known to get a bit feisty towards each other, especially if you have two males in the tank, similar to the Epistogramma in that regard. But they will be great tank mates for most community fish. They have bright orange and blue spotting with some cool spiked fins. They can be particular about water parameters and water quality, so make sure you're on top of your maintenance and water changes. But they'll do great in planted aquariums with rock caves and some swimming space. An awesome small cichlid that is usually pretty peaceful, the German Blue Ram comes in at number four on this list. Coming in at number three on the list is one of my all-time favorite cichlids, the Electric Blue Acara. These cichlids get to about six inches in total length, so they can fit in a lot of medium-sized tanks. I would recommend a 55-gallon tank or larger just because they do swim back and forth so much, but I've seen them kept in 40-gallon breeders without issue. I would just recommend the larger the tank size, the better. But the Electric Blue Acara really is a peaceful cichlid. They will fit in a lot of different setups because they do stay in that medium size range. They can sometimes fit with other larger cichlids like the Severum. I even have one in my tank with my Oscar and a chocolate cichlid and a true parrot which are all pushing 10 inches in length and the Electric Blue Acara is doing just great. The Electric Blue Acara can also fit in some of your community setups with smaller fish such as your Tetras, Barbs and other fish. I would say something as small as the Neon Tetra would probably be best to stay away from if your Electric Blue Acara is an adult size, but some of your other slightly larger Tetras would be great for them. I also really like the Denizen Barbs, those are a great fit for an Electric Blue Acara. But definitely the best part of this fish is that bright blue color that it provides in your aquarium. I think it's perfect for a cichlid tank that kind of misses that bright blue color in most setups and really provides that pop that you want. And also that peaceful demeanor just makes them a great community fish and their ability to hold their own against some of those larger fish just makes them a great fit in a lot of different tanks. Like I said, it's one of my all time favorites so it's probably gonna be on every top 10 list that we ever do. Uh, but with that being said, I'm gonna pass it over to Quinn for number two on the list. Similar to the German Blue Ram, the Bolivian Ram is also a relatively peaceful cichlid. They can be pretty shy and usually won't bother any other fish in your tank so they make great additions to a community fish tank. This fish will liven up your aquarium with some great colors and swimming behaviors. From yellows, reds, and blues, Bolivian rams will definitely stand out in your tank. They can comfortably fit in smaller tanks such as a 30 or even a 40 gallon tank, so they're more suitable for beginners who may not have a huge tank. They are one of the smaller South American cichlid species and their ideal water is soft, with lower pH and usually tropical temperature around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a great, peaceful cichlid that we would definitely recommend. So Troy, what's number one? Coming in at number one on the list is the Keyhole Cichlid. 
This is by far the most peaceful cichlid I've ever kept and I used to have one in my 180 gallon aquarium here. I did move him out of this tank because I was putting in an Oscar which was a little too big and aggressive for the keyhole. So I put him into my 75 gallon aquarium and he has always been the most peaceful cichlid. Keyhole cichlids are so peaceful and docile that they almost do better with the tetras and barbs and other community tropical fish than some of your other cichlids. Keyhole cichlids love to have hiding spots so that they feel secure in different rocks and caves and driftwood. The keyhole cichlid gets their name from the pattern on their body with the keyhole marking and the stripe down their eye. They're usually a tan goldish color with that black stripe and they stay pretty small at about five to six inches in total length and they're a pretty slow grower. Because they're pretty peaceful, I would just be very careful if you're ever putting other cichlids in the tank with them. Some good tank mate options for the keyhole cichlids when it comes to other cichlids are the rams, the electric lucaras, or even some of the smaller geophagus species. They would be an ideal fish for more of the smaller community setups. If you're looking for a cichlid to be one of your centerpiece fish and maybe a 40 gallon or 55 gallon tank, a keyhole cichlid would be perfect. The keyhole cichlid is a very cool fish and I would recommend it to anyone looking for a peaceful cichlid to potentially go in your community setup. And now really quickly for a few honorable mentions that didn't quite make the list, starting with the discus. Discus are usually a pretty peaceful fish, however they do require some extra attention when it comes to water parameters and water quality, so just keep that in mind if you're to keep discus. Another cichlid that almost made the list is the angelfish. The only reason they didn't make the list is they do seem to get extra aggressive when they're breeding, so they don't always fit with other fish in the tank if they are breeding, so just keep that in mind. And then lastly is the rainbow cichlid. They are a Central American cichlid that stays pretty modest in overall size. They're usually pretty peaceful, but they can be pretty feisty when it comes to larger tank mates. I've seen them nip at Jack Dempsey's and other fish like that. So just keep that in mind with the rainbow, but usually you'll be okay as they tend to be on the more peaceful side. Okay guys, that does it for today's video on the top 10 most peaceful cichlids. If we missed any cichlid that you consider peaceful, make sure to leave that down in the comment section. Also just a quick plug, we do have new merch. Um, we'll leave a link down in the description for that as well as all the affiliate links to products we use in our own aquariums if you're interested. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.